Yo guys, right now we are gonna see the five worst neighbors in Europe. Let's watch. There are many crappy neighborhoods in Europe, and in some cases, it's even called ghetto. So obviously, this is a topic of today's video. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video and check out five worst neighborhoods in Europe. Number five, Ferentori, Romania, Bucharest. Well, we are already back in Romania, and this is a country with a long socialist planning traditions that evoked in mass urbanization back in a... In Romania and Bulgaria, we both have a lot of gypsies, and these people like to throw, throw trash everywhere around their houses, they do not care about anything. Days. And this urbanization has affected almost every city in Romania. Well, the first years after 1989 revolution caused end of housing planning by the government. So these neighborhoods were not getting any money. See, we have such we have such places even in my town, but they are not as dirty as this one seems, at least not nowadays. Although when I went to a nearby town, I did see people throwing their trash from the windows as well. From the state. Ferentory is a typical example of post-socialist ghetto where many segregated groups now live. Fortunately, I, I can only see gypsies on this picture. But I still do not understand how the people don't care about living in such a dirty environment. Things have changed a lot since then, when publications like Daily Mail were ranking Romania 4th on the cars? list of the most... See? The, there was a Ferrari or a Porsche. places in the world to visit with almost 70,000 crimes committed ago. each year. Today, the neighborhood is starting to look just like a regular neighborhood in Bucharest. But there's still a bit of work left to be done. More and more families and working class people are moving in. The buildings are being renovated, supermarkets are being built, restaurants are being opened, and regular people... See the difference? The one that looks clean? Still people are hanging their clothes to dry on the outside and the one that looks dirty looks cleaner. People with normal lifestyles live here. Alright guys, I hope the best for this neighborhood. And we can get to number 4. Number 4. Stolipinovo neighborhood. In Who would have guessed that Bulgaria is gonna be on this list? Stolipinovo is in the capital of Bulgaria, Sofia. And yes, we have such neighborhoods in Sofia, in Varna, in mostly every town. Plovdiv, Bulgaria. This district ah, is located on the oh, outskirts bad, of the bad. city of Plovdiv. And it's. I don't even know my country. Sorry about that. Probably the biggest gypsy or Romani ghetto in the Balkans. But this one differs from other Roma communities in Bulgaria as only 5,000 inhabitants identify themselves as Christian and Romani-speaking Roma. Since the Muslim and Turkish-speaking majority claims to yeah, be this of is Turkish Bulgaria. origin. For a moment when the video started I thought this is in Romania because they started talking about Romania but it looks a lot of like Bulgaria and yes it is. Now let's talk kind of about the history and where the problem started. As in Romania after 1989 revolution there have been almost no investments in the neighborhood. In combination of illegal housing this led to severe problems with regards to electricity and water supply. And all of this rapidly increased poverty and bad living conditions. Which makes this place one of the worst places to live in Europe. Number 3. Hanov, Czech Republic. Probably Bulgaria is one of the worst places to live in Europe, but only certain places. Now if you're a foreign investor, if you're just coming from the US or Australia with your money and your income, you're gonna be rich in Bulgaria for the rest of your life, unless you get robbed. Public, this small district in the outskirt of the most city has been built for miners that were working in the nearby factory in 1978. They lived there together with Roma coming from Slovakia. The buildings could not kept in good condition and in the end most of the inhabitants left 
and to date it serves as a Roma ghetto. Living conditions there are so bad that the place is one of the worst ghettos in Central Europe. In any case, we can expect the demolition of one of these buildings in the near future, as the Czech government has announced that in 2022 it will take place. So what I can say about this is that these are just empty buildings that the Roma people or the gypsies decided that they are gonna live in there for free. So it's up to them to keep it clean but believe me when I say that they do not care about any renovations. They're just gonna put blankets on the windows and that's it. And they're gonna keep throwing their trash everywhere. Number two. Lunik 9, Eastern Slovakia. Slovakia. This location is not so far from the number 3. We are situated in Eastern Slovakia, in the second biggest Slovak city called Kosice. On the outskirt, there is a ghetto called Lunik 9. There is one pretty strange thing about this nasty neighborhood. And pretty it's strange. That it used to you must be... You must should... Do I cannot even say it. You should not put your kids alone because they're gonna go outside someone is gonna throw a bottle on their heads and that's it you can see even the the black smoke it used to be very modern area with very decent quality of living it was inhabited decent, decent. by police and army forces in their families minority were roma people the task of the police and other forces was to integrate the roma into society and life in this place they However, look integrated. they did not integrate into society and the officers began to leave the city. Therefore, the city had no supervision and became a place without any laws. The break occurred when gypsies from illegal camps moved here. Without knowing how to use modern devices, they lived here on their own. Today, the city is full of garbage and houses are in terrible condition. The once modern city is now the largest ghetto in Europe. You can see that there are Yet barely few start with people. Number one. There are barely few people that even hit windows. I would like to mention that number one certainly does not mean the worst. Because in this case it's definitely not the worst. However, let's get into it. Number one, Naples suburbs. The Lee Valley residential complex in the Naples suburbs which is infamously known as an organized crime scene, will be demolished, as the city management decided. The amount of buildings the housing estate next is a to each symbol other is of disgusting. brutalist architecture, poverty, and mafia gangs. It became infamous in 2004, when the whole of Europe witnessed one of the greatest wars of the local clans. Residents of the housing estate now hope that the dark period in their suburbs. I dare to say it's an interesting architecture, but I wouldn't like to live in such a building, even if it's brand new. Which was later made famous by the series, will end up with demolish. I think this was a pretty cool video to watch. What do you think about these neighborhoods? Also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Bye.